Okay, we're going to go over how to install Valheim Plus as well as the Farm Grid and the Crop Replant mods. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to nexusmods.com slash Valheim Um, farm grid, I've already downloaded that, so it's showing up for me. It might not show up for you. So under, the, so you were, you were, we're in Valheim. So if you go to mods and probably the most endorsed, uh, there's Valheim plus and not planting plus. That's something different. Uh, crop replant. We're going to want to grab that one as well as farm grid now there is farm grid so you're going to want to grab this one as well uh, just to uh, go to files um, manual download and download them so once you have those downloaded You'll have these three here, Valheim Plus, the Crop Replant, and the Farm Grid. And you're also going to want to know where um, Steam keeps your Valheim. I have a shortcut on my desktop, but you can get to that just by going to your Steam library and then right-clicking on it and then going down to Manage and then Browse Local Files. So that'll bring you to the folder. That's this folder right here. So these are the local files. Um, what you want to do is you're going to extract these three files. So we'll extract Valheim Plus. We'll, inst we'll install Valheim Plus first. So there's Valheim Plus. We'll extract Crop Replant. And we'll extract the farm grid. Okay, so we have these three folders here now. These have all been extracted. What you want to do is go into Valheim Plus, and you're just going to copy all of these over to your, this is your Valheim uh, Steam folder. So now you have these folders. These folders and files are in here now. Um, then we're going to go to Crop Replant, the one that you extracted. And inside of BEP up here, there is a Plugins folder. We go in there, and you can see the Valheim Plus plugin is already there. We'll copy over the Crop Replant plugin. And then we'll go to Farm Grid. And it's going to go in the same spot. BEP, Plugins, Farm Grid. So now we have our three plugins are installed. So now we can launch Valheim. And you'll see this console window will pop up. It's telling you it's loading the plugins and so on and so forth. So once we've run this once, it'll generate config files that we can modify. But you have to install the plugins, run Valheim once, and then you'll be able to edit the config files. And you can see it says Valheim Plus. So we're going to quit out of here. We just wanted to generate those, um, <clears throat> the config files. So if we go into BEP, config, you can see we have a Valheim Plus config. Um, and this is the crop replant config. The only thing I edit in there, I just change it from um, this is set to two. Yeah, we can leave it at two. It's not this one. It's the the farm grid is the one that I usually this one. The far, farm grid sections, I usually turn this up to three, but that's your own personal preference. Um, <clears throat> the Valheim Plus, 
there's really only two things I, I modify in here. So you, you have the advanced building mode. If you look for brackets, the, the brackets, um, you want to look for items right here. So under items, um, you have to set this to true to enable this section. So now it's enabled. And then enable you to teleport with ores, I turn that on. And the other change is Uh, I can't remember what it was called. I mean, feel free to modify these all you want. It's your game. I believe it was fire. fire source. If set to true, all fire sources will stay at max fuel level. So you don't have to run around refilling your campfires or your torches. So I usually like to set those too. So now we've installed the plugins. We'll see them in action. So, it's, my torches are always full, my campfires are always full. Now, one of the things that kind of threw me was nothing seems to be working, because I had already planted this crop over here, and I don't see um, the percentage of how, how far the crop has grown, but you're not going to see that right now. So, for this example, um, I'm going to grab some grab seeds on me. Alright, so grab some seeds. These are turnip seeds. And you want your cultivator in your hand. So press 8. And it's set to cultivate, you can see right now. We don't want to do that, we want to plant. So we're going to plant some turnips. So where's my grit? I don't see a grit. Well, it doesn't show up until you place the first one. So for instance, if I place this here, now you can see the grid, and I can rotate the plant around the grid until I get it to where I want it to be exactly. And then the grid kind of sticks to that. So you can plant it like that. And you can pretty quickly plant the whole field. It, it kind of auto plants as well, so if you click and then click, you see how it's when it turns green over there. I walk forward, plant, plant. Sometimes you got to move a little bit. Plant, move forward, plant, plant, move forward, plant, plant. So it's pretty quick to uh, plant all your crops. So that's farm green. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the auto planter. So I have my uh, cultivator in my hand. If I run
right click you can see I'm planting turnips so what I do is I hover over a plant and then you use the secondary attack in my case by default it's middle mouse button and if you press the middle mouse button it will harvest them as well as replant them for you so you just move forward it's an AOE so you can harvest move forward so so this is how you do the auto harvest replant um, over here because I'm planting uh, turnip seeds not turnips just right click on your cultivator and select the seed turnip and just make sure you have turnips in your inventory and then you just do the same thing middle mouse button middle mouse middle mouse and it replants everything back for you so just the two things just make sure you have whatever it is you're planting in your inventory and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys found this hopeful, helpful. Hopeful. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, so I just did this because I couldn't find anything online to explain how this worked. So I, once I figured it out, I figured I'd return back to everybody else. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks.